I have not having a game plan. And you see how sad this guy is. This guy is really sad. You know why this guy is really sad? He's sad because he didn't have a freaking game plan. Okay. Now, this is common amongst 95% of the forex traders in the world. People just go and they click, 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 want to click buttons. You can be the best trader in the world. If you don't have a game plan, you're screwed. You know why? You know why? Because when you go into a trade, okay, you need to plan. So, you go into a trade. The market can be very irrational. You go into a trade. You know where your stop. It's not just about knowing your stop loss and your take profit. It's, it's a lot deeper than that. You need to plan ahead of time and say to yourself, if the market, there's a lot of ifs. For somebody like me, okay, I'll tell you what I do now. When I go into a trade, right, I like to plan ahead, okay? I say to myself, okay, this is my stop loss. This is my take profit. If the market gets here, I want to take out X percent of my trade. If the market gets here and I see a bearish engulfing candle, this is what I want to do. So I always have like seven different criteria that might happen. Seven not criteria, seven different scenarios that might happen. And I also write what, exa what exactly I'm going to do if the market reacts that way. That way, I don't leave my computer, come back, see something crazy happening, panic, and then mess up my trade. Okay, I leave my computer. When I come back, if something irrational is happening, I just simply open up my game plan. Chances that I have already prepared for it, and I've said, I've set down, um, I've written down what exactly I'm going to do in case that kind of thing happens. Okay, so because I've written it down, I already know what to do. I just simply follow it, and then I do it. Okay, so having a game plan will put you, uh, will put you years, years, years ahead of your trading pairs okay guys it will put you you know on the on the top radar the top five percent of traders that are successful and profitable in the world okay because when you don't have a game plan you just start panicking confusion okay especially once the market goes in the opposite direction remember those remember those trades that i told you guys about that i had over um 18k plus in profit now if i i mean i had a i had a i had a journal that i was journaling should I had a risk management game plan, but I didn't have an overall game plan. I was simply writing down the risk, the reward, canceling now, blah, 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 because I thought that that was the most important thing. Risk, risk management is very important. However, your game plan is also equally as important. So you want to write down exactly what you want to do in every given scenario, because sometimes you might have your take profit at a certain level, the market might not get there and start reversing. What do you do? Do you sit on your hand and wait for the market to come and hit your stop loss after you've seen all that profit, just because you got 10 pips of your take profit and you didn't take you up or take profit? Does that mean you're going to let the market slide? No, you need to have a strategy in place that's going to make you maximize, get the best, the best out of the market that is moving in your favor. That's the game plan to get the best out of any market that moves in your favor, okay? That way you're prepared and you're able to make some good money, okay? Like I say here, the proper thing to do is to plan your trade ahead of time, okay? Plan, plan, plan is very important, all right, guys? So I'll hop over to the next one. Chasing the money, not pips. As you can see here, I've got Mr. Tim Sykes. Tim Sykes, Tim Sykes, I don't know why he calls himself Tim Sykes, good. It's a lot of cash. Actually, I should use this for unrealistic goals. Yeah, this is the picture I should have used for unrealistic goals. Okay, chasing the money, not pips. Now, I can't even stress this enough. Like, I see a lot of people coming to this market. They're trying to chase the money. They're trying to chase the money. They're trying to chase the money. Okay, that's the wrong mindset you you have as a trader, because when you start to chase the money, okay your emotions start to play up. Your emotions start to play up. I'll give you a typical example. For instance, you're in a trade and then you've moved your take profit, you're taking a nice trade, and then you moved your take profit all the way to where you should be. And then you're seeing the value of your take profit is looking like 2K. You're like, mm, 2K looks nice. But if I, if I put another position, or if I double this position, does that mean I could put it 4K? That mean I'll have 6k at the end of this trade. I mean, the analysis looks great. Everything looks nice. Oh, this one hurt, but man, 6k, 2k, 6k. Oh, shit, 6k is a lot of money. 
you know what, I'm just going to do this. If anything goes wrong, I'll quickly close it up. And then you take on, you place another trade. Let's say you have two lots. Now you've got to place an extra four lots. And then you move everything up there like, yes, 6K. I just need just, you're like, God, I need this one trade to pull through. And then what happens? You've gone and placed, you've gone way above your risk management threshold. And you've gone ahead and placed that trade. And what happens? The market starts to move against you. And that's how you've wiped out all the gains you've made prior to that trade. And possibly you're now in the red. You're now negative. You're now negative on your PL balance. Okay? So that's why it's not chasing the money is not it's not usually advisable. Chasing the pips. Chasing the pips. I want to bang more pips. I want to bang more points in the market than that. Because what happens is when you chase the pips, the money follows. It's not the other way around. Don't chase the money. Chase the pips. You chase the pips. You chase the pips because you want your, your mindset should be about winning the trade and not making the money. I'm, you see, I, the reason why I'm successful in this market is because I like to win. I like to win trades. So if I see a trade is not exactly within my purview, like I don't understand what the market is doing, I'm going to leave it alone because I'm going to lose. I don't want to lose a trade. I want to win the trade. So when you have that winning mentality, you just want to win trades, then money will follow because, for instance, anytime you win a trade, obviously you make money. So forget about the money. Focus on what's important, which is winning the trades. Okay. At the end, I said I will strongly advise you focus on how many pips you pips rather how many pips you're making rather than how much money you're making. This is one of the best things you can do for yourself as a forex forex trader. No lie, guys. No lies. So follow the pips and not the money. On to the next one. Oh my day, the losing straight shit. <gasps> Guys, I'm telling you, as I'm going through these slides, I'm gonna cry because I just I'm just thinking about myself like I can remember back in the days. It was terrible, okay? Now, why do losing streaks happen? Okay. This of course when you actually have multiple losing trades at a row. That's what a losing streak is. So you place this first first trade in careers. It accounts for the most blown accounts in the forex industry. Guys, can you see this guy cry? I feel so sorry for him because, May, especially when, you know, the market is not just cooperating. It's possible for the market not to cooperate. It happens all the time. And then you have one losing trade, two losing. You can have up to five, six losing trades in a row. Okay? Now, after losing two or more trades in a row, you tend to become very emotional. Okay? From being sad to spiteful and then worse, revenge. Okay? You tend to want to make your money back, and this leads to a series of series of even more losses. Okay, this leads to a series of even more losses. Revenge, because of two losing trades, you want to make that money back. Remember that first story I told you when I beginning up the video about me having seven hundred dollars. I took it up to one one. And then I lost that, I lost a bit of money, and then I was so spiteful and revengeful. I staked my last three hundred dollars, and then pff, my money was gone. It's gone forever. Okay, and then now you're down to fifty percent of your capital. You start risking chunks of your capital with the hopes of restoring the funds back to its initial capital. Okay, that's what happens. You're back. You're down to fifty percent. You're thinking to yourself, shoot, how did I get here? Okay, how the hell did guys? I know I'm speaking to people out there who are who actually go through this stuff. It's absolutely crazy. Okay, now I need to I need to take this a bit faster because I don't want the video to be too long. Now this is usually never the case. You never make that money back. This is when traders up often get wiped out and are left and are left with less than five percent of what they invested. Literally, I've seen people. Like I've seen a man has got thirty thousand euros. By the time he was done trading that account, he, he had 15 euros. <laughs> he had from 30k euros to 50, to, from 30k euros to 15 euros. With my two eyes, I've seen it happen. So what then happens next is that you start feeling worthless. Guys, I must warn you, this market is like you will feel so heartbroken, so heartbroken, like you wouldn't even believe it. Okay? You feel really sad, you feel worthless, and so on and so forth. 
However, my advice to people once they start feeling like this is to close your freaking laptop, cut yourself some slack. Okay? Cut yourself some slack, close your laptop, go and spend time with your family. You need to clear your mind because I, when you're in revenge mode, you just keep making more mistakes. Clear your mind and go spend time with your family. Quick, go and spend time with your family, talk to them, go out. This is when you should even spend money. I'm telling you from personal experience, go and spend money, spend time with your family and you know, come back to the market with a clear, clear mind, okay, so that you can take on the market. Now, I do have a solution, okay, on how to overcome losing streaks, okay? I have a methodology, it's called maximum drawdown, okay? Now, listen very carefully to this aspect. Drawdown simply means losses, and maximum drawdown simply means maximum losses. In simple terms, what's the maximum amount of money I'm willing to lose, okay? This acts as my circuit breaker, whereby if I lose up to 20% of my capital during a period of one month, I automatically stop trading, okay? With a risk of 3%, I will need to be wrong six times in a row. So I have basically what I'm trying to say is I allow myself to be wrong six times. Not, that I allow, not like I want to be wrong six times, but if I'm wrong six times, okay, I know that, okay, that's it for the month. Okay, I've only lost 20%, and 20% is a lot, but 20% is better than you taking your account from 30k to 15, 30k to 15 euros. Okay, are you getting my point? Okay, so when I come back next month, I feel refreshed and I still have 80% of my capital to trade with. You see, when you have this mindset, you're a lot more confident. You're not scared anymore. You're not scared of all oh, my days. Am I gonna you you allow yourself to breathe, you allow that error, you allow a certain um, you allow room for error. You need to allow room for error because you're not a machine. So you say, okay. I have six trades this month that I can afford to lose before I, I stop trading. And if you're if you're a really good trader, if you've actually been on, on our course, chances of you having six losing trades in a row is very slim. Okay? Very slim. Because we then step in, especially if you're on your live account, we then step in and try and help you, you know, to win some more trades back. I would obviously say I always send an analysis to all our students and our clients and uh, RM investors as well. So I always send out trade analysis to them, you know. So if we see that, you know, you're a bit shook and all that, we'll send you some really decent analysis, like, hey, follow this trade and so that you can get yourself back on track, all right? So I'm just saying the worst case scenario for me is 20% drawdown. Once I've lost six trades in a row, bam, I'm stopped trading. I'm going to go spend time with my family. I'm going to travel, plan a trip. Probably not even trade in the next month. And then I can come back refreshed, okay? With this method, okay, I have been able to save myself loads of money and resources. You have no idea, okay? I've been able to save myself so much money, time, pain, you know, rep my reputation. I've been able to keep everything intact because, you know, like the guys I keep telling you, is the little things in trading that count. The little things in trading that count. Maximum drawdown is very important. If in one month you have six losing trades, bounce or do something else, leave your account. I promise you, you're going to come back refreshed. Especially, I'll tell you something, a very good trick here. When you just come out of a very losing state and then you finally find your way out, like not in terms of trading your way out, but you just you come out of that losing state, like you detach yourself from the market, you close your laptop again, and then you go spend time with your family. When you come back, you're a lot more intelligent. All the stuff that made you lose money before, you you, you know all the stuff that made you lose money before, and you're, you, you're, automatically, you're automatically able to spot it like that. Okay? You're automatically able to spot it like that. So you come back, I guarantee you that your next three trades after that are going to be winners. And guys, with a 10% reward on every trade you place, he only takes you two trades before you're back to break even. Only two. Still keeping your risk low at 3%. Only two trades before you know it, you're back at break even. So why don't, why don't you employ this strategy? Have a maximum drawdown of between 15 to 20% monthly. Okay? If anything happens, 15% I advise for 20% maximum. And then you stop trading, go spend time with your family, they love you, they want to see you. Okay, go spend, don't don't be sad. Guys, I know people who are struggling, people are 
Okay, people, I've had people call me on the phone, cry. <laughs> I'm telling you, trader psychology is very important. This is traps people fall into all the freaking time. That's why I'm taking my time out to explain this to you guys. Shout out to those of you who stayed till the end of this video, okay? You guys are actually the real MVPs and you guys are the ones that are actually going to make money in this market, all right? Now, last but not the least is to master your trading psychology, okay? Now you know yourself. You know what makes yourself tick. Okay, this comes over time, but it's very important. Build your trading mindset. You're not doing this for the money. Stop opening multiple trading accounts. Don't have unrealistic goals. Chase pips, not money. Okay, and most importantly, have a maximum drawdown. Okay, understand the fact that you need to be a sniper trader. Don't just come out and be clicking button, bam, bam, bam. No, you need to look at yourself as a sniper. All right. Snipers don't come out except they got a target, okay? They come out only when they got a target. They come out, they shoot the target down with precision. Shoot it down and then what do they do next? They go and chill. They go and chill and then they so I consider myself a sniper trader. I like to wait for the market to be vulnerable. Let it come to me. Be vulnerable, sir. When you're vulnerable, you come to me. I come out there, snipe you, and then you're done. Come, okay, it's basically me, I send out my 3%, okay? I look for a good market opportunity, bring my 3% out, send it, psh, brings me back 10%, I like it, okay? If I don't see a clear opportunity, I'm not sending out my 3%, no, 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 my 3% is too dear to me, all right, guys? So master your trading psychology, you really need that. Guys, guys, these are part of the things, or these are the kind of things we teach on the course, and a whole lot more. Literally, I spent two weeks teaching you trading psychology, calming you down, making you comfortable with the market, holding your hand and coaching you. And last but not the least, clarity equals success. Okay? Now, once you've been able to, at this point, it's probably going to take you, now, for those of you who are trying to learn by yourself, it's going to take you 12 to 18 months, probably even not more, probably about two years. Sorry, something just bothering my chest of months of failure on inconsistency, okay? Before you start to realize the mental traps in the market, it might take you longer, okay? But on the course, we bring it down to about 12 weeks, okay? 12 weeks, which is about three months, okay? So we break it down, you know, we, we teach you in 12 weeks all the traps, everything that you will most likely face in the market, we teach you, we help you overcome it in a very short period of time. We basically make you a very good trader in the span of 12 weeks. By teaching you all the experiences we had, all the strategies, all the do's and the don'ts. Guys, you have to understand that you can read all this stuff elsewhere. You can read about the market, you can read about technical analysis. But what we bring, what I bring to the table is the do's and the don'ts. What you do, what you should do and what you shouldn't do. Okay? They don't, they don't, it's not written anywhere on the internet. It comes with experience. So I teach experience and that's why I'm teaching you in this video, okay? So once you're done with the course, you will now understand that the market is not a place to flip your money, but to grow your money, okay? Your technical analysis become very spot on and you're not rushing in and out of trades. You become very calm and collected, such as a sniper that is going for its prey, very precise, okay? Now this is when you start to see real success and your account starts to grow consistently. Okay? And I have congrats there as well. So, guys, this is pretty much what I have to say about trader psychology. Very, 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 very important topic. A lot of people just want to put money into, the, into their account and want to start trading. And that's why I'm talking to you that has refused to make a conscious effort to take that bold step into making your trading a better one. I'm talking to you who doesn't want to listen. You need to have a very good trader mindset. You will never be successful in this market if you don't have the right approach. And these are the kind of things you need to know. Somebody needs to put this stuff in your head, bam. Okay, I see a lot of people, they'll rather spend two, three thousand, five thousand pounds in the market, trading the market and losing it all, than to pay somebody, pay to get a course for somebody to teach them how to trade. They'll just run away. Okay, I got a lot of people DM me and message me, like, oh, this, what do I do and all that. I'm like, guys, I can't help you. I can't, I mean, I can speak to you over the phone and try and find out what exactly the problem is, but there's only so, can you see how long it took me to put this together? Good. 
I can't tell you all this stuff over the phone. This is something I need to do on a one-to-one -one basis, okay? Now, hi guys, now thanks for watching that video. Um, for those of you who stayed till the end, it means absolutely the world to me. I hope I've been able to impact you guys with enough value for today. Now, you, 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 you know, you basically get a, a clear picture of why a lot of traders tend not to be successful in this market. They're just little things that are just playing up in their head as to why they're unable to, you know, consistently make money in this market. I hope I've been able to connect some of those dots that are missing been able to paint a better picture for you guys for all the upcoming traders out there who are DMing me, messaging me kudos to you guys kudos to you guys who want to take your life to the next level you know and I'm, I'm, it really excites me to see a whole lot of very young traders now for those of you who want to contact me I'm going to leave uh, my Instagram handle um, in the description of this video and obviously for those of you who already know my Instagram handle is at I am at I am underscore dapo hit me your follow drop me your follow DM me tell me yo this is the challenge that I'm going book a phone call with me I'll get on the phone to you you know everybody has access to me all right guys that's it for uh, this video on trader psychology please don't forget to like and comment if you really like if this video really helped you please like and comment that's how I'm able to grow this channel all right guys Oh, this. I need to get my subs up. Yeah, what I mean, I need to get my subs up. I need to get my subs up, guys. Catch you later. Bye.